Summer is here. For the great hornbill, this is the busiest time of the year. Over the months to come, hornbill couples will devote all their time and energy to breeding the next generation. Even as first-time parents, this young couple follow their instincts and seem to be doing well in nursing their offspring. After three months of hatching and feeding, the tree hole is too cramped for both the mother and her chick. The mother decides to step out and helps her diligent husband look for food. The chick is holding the fort, all by its lone self. Concerned about its chick, the mother returns to the nest and guards its entry, despite the bad weather. The male roams the woodland, racking his brains for the next meal. With its huge bulk and gigantic bill, the great hornbill has a wide range of choices when it comes to finding food. In the warm and humid river valley, the hazy fogs shroud the endless expanse of vegetation. Most animals have their sight more or less obstructed, which offers the great hornbill ideal hunting opportunities. The hornbill's eyes can work separately. While functioning independently, the two eyes can also coordinate. Quietly perched on the branch, the hornbill couple scan for their prey. As the dense fog descends, the great hornbills come alive and begin the hunt. As the fog lifts, the male has already come back to the tree hole, bearing snacks for its chick. The greater racket-tailed Drongo lost its beloved young. Right now, the culprit is carefree and at large. The Drongo refuses to swallow this and launches a desperate attack at the hornbill several times its size. The attack might be futile and pose no real danger to the hornbill intruders. But at least it can drive them away from the branches that the Drongo calls home. The dense fog spreads again. Struggles in the woodland happen all the time.